I challenged Opsdava, Hens, and Kaito to see if they could guess which of these survivors have 1,000 hours and which survivor has 10,000 hours. Okay, Dwight did something quite smart. He waited until he knew the fatigue was over before moving out of sight. Ah, a bit insecure there, Claude. He's kind of zoned, but she understands. No, I don't think I don't think that guy's very experienced. That doesn't strike me as a particularly comp-like response. It seems to me like someone with a lot of experience might have faked the drop instead. So that Claudette did do the little, um, like, palette flick thing where you face forward, which I know more advanced survivors do. I don't, I don't know if 1,000 hours do that as well. I haven't really been paying attention, but... Um, a decent response here from Dwight. His positioning was a bit poor, but sometimes you can help that. Okay, he's trying to break line of sight, and he's still backing at good times. I like this guy so far. I really like the way he walked back. That was interesting. Ooh. This is way harder than I was expecting. Whoa! Almost. Oh, you didn't hit that. Almost. All right, she's not looking back. She didn't have to in that moment, though. Uh, I noticed she does not get into the line of sight unnecessarily and she made a really smart play trying to to make distance while that happened. Yep. Going through the edges of the map is something that really bad survivors do until they realize that it's really good against Nurse. From that chase alone, I think I'm gonna rule the Nia out. I don't think right, it's okay. the Nia. This drop of a pallet reassures me in that this Claudette is a bit lost when it comes to knowing what to do against Nurse. I'd be surprised if they were the comp player. Okay, I, I don't think this guy has an offensive chaos. Like, maybe, but... And I hate that they're all default closed, too. Yeah, just to make it a little bit harder. Uh, decent, decent recovery from Claudette, though. Seems like she does better once she gets hit. Okay, well, now I'm just confused. The pallet again. Yeah. Loves the, loves the those pallets. Loves the pallets. Yeah, it's it's almost like she expects pallets to, to help, which is something that experienced survivors know doesn't happen. Oof. Actual good use of flashback. Bro. He's doing a good job getting objects between you and him. He's doing the best at that. Alright, so I already Meg has made a decision that I think someone with a lot of experience wouldn't have made. She did go on the second floor in a part where you had perfect line of sight of her. That's a horrible position to be in. I yeah. feel like a good player would never go on that railing because you can't break now side. Okay, for now I'm gonna rule out Meg because I feel like someone with 10k hours would block the line of sight. Okay. But, okay, I have a question. Are they just playing normally or are they trying to confuse me on purpose? They're playing normally, just okay. completely normal. Uh, Nia here might get hit. She uses trees to hide line of sight. Not bad. That hot? Okay. Well, if this is not the best player in the team, she, they're definitely popping off. That was a great that heart. I don't think that made much sense to turn that at the corner. The fake double back, but, yeah. But, uh, I mean, I guess it makes sense for, like, uh, I think going around the corner would be way more songs. Alright, this... Where's this Dwight running? Why do the blinks look so weird? Uh, music Campbell's. So it instantly blinks after I fully charged my first. So Dwight, he's always getting flats of rage. Uh, this Dwight is quite interesting. Looks like he has overcome, but I, I, I couldn't say for sure. I'm like 95% sure it's not the Dwight. I haven't seen enough of this Meg. Not bad from the Meg, okay. She's going edge map though, which is usually good against her nerves. Almost no effort to break line of sight constantly. Let's see what she does here. Ooh, balanced landing gamer. We need more people to use balanced. Absolutely, I agree. As a nurse man, I would love people to use balanced. Ooh, she understood the mind game and even went edge map to try to dodge. Right. That was very well played, Mimic. That was good. I liked that. I liked that a lot, actually. Even though she died, because nurse. All right, Claudette. It's between the Meg and the Claudette right now, I think. Lots of rage coming in. 
She did a good oh. job there, hiding. I would have lost her. Going white too, but... Uh, pallet drop is very sus. I, I would say if you're a survivor main with almost 30,000 hours, you would not play around pallets like that. Yeah, in the sense of the theory, but I feel like she's a bit clumsy in the practice. Going white. Pretty good timing on the near. Uh... Ooh. That was a great dead heart. That was a pretty good mind game. She hoped that you would path around and then she went back, but it didn't work out. Yep. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, how, how high are they? How well are they thinking about stuff? Uh, okay, Meg, I did tell you I didn't see much of. Now, she had balanced landing, and coming to the second floor is not a bad idea with balanced landing, but uh, I don't know what's in her mind, but typically, if someone is about to die and you're about to be the last survivor, you do not go on second floors because of the very simple fact that you don't find hatch there. Okay, Clutter is camping pallets. Okay, I, I don't think this guy has not been some chaos. Like, maybe, but... Uh, Clutter was a bit unlucky here. Uh, this will be one of the many times where she puts a bit too much trust in pallets. I'm almost confident this is not the, the strongest player in the lobby. Okay. This Claudette, like, she's on my radar. Because she she's doing smart things against the nurse that just aren't working. <laughs> yeah, like that? Like, that was a fake double back. Surely, Dwight, difficult as this situation was, had options to go. He could have hugged the building, he could have tried going elsewhere. He chose to put himself in the most open area he could, pretty much. Um, I don't know what that Dwight's doing. I don't think it's the Dwight. I mean, he breaks line of sight, and then he changes directions, which is like, and he's looking back, so he, he definitely understands the theory of playing against us. See, this flashbang here? I don't think that's the timing that someone with 10,000 hours would, would do. So that already tells me that Dwight is probably not the 10,000 hour guy. Oh, the Dwight always got flats of rage. The problem. But he kind of didn't understand it either. So that gives him yeah, minus. Yeah, you've got to... At, at some point, the Dwight has to work out that I have floods. Yeah. And yeah. just take distance. Well, I feel like he didn't. She did three dead hearts, two of them perfectly timed. One of them maybe mistimed by like zero point something. She never misused it, only maybe mistimed it a bit, which is definitely something that happens to good survivors. Okay, the near, honestly, ooh, this is hard. The near is pretty decent, but so, so is the dry. But the dry didn't understand floods. I would, I would honestly say near. Uh, I, I'd be, I'd be very confident in saying that Nia played here the absolute strongest and is most likely the strongest player out of everyone. I wouldn't be extremely, extremely shocked if that Nia just had a really good game and it could be Meg because, because you know, like, like it, it's not, it's not impossible that one of the players that we've seen a bit less of, like Meg, could also be strong. I think I'm gonna go with the Meg. I think, I think that chase alone, in my opinion, if it is her, it would give it away because she made so many smart moves about blocking line of sight and holding W, which are the two things you want to do against a nurse. I, th I would play, if, if I would have to have a rating, which is the most likely, I would say first is Nia, second is Dwight, third is Claudette, fourth is Mick. Okay. Royalty used to play for Agony. He's one of the most successful comp players of all time. And if you know a little bit more about Royalty, is every single game I think I've ever seen him play, he's played Claudette. What? And that was the same for this game. What? No, you're kidding. No. There's no way that's Roy. That was Roy. You can't do the bro. Like, I'm so sorry, Roy. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry, Roy. What? Claudette? Oh, I should have gone with my original gut with the pallet thing. Wow. Wow, 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 wow. So... They, so they took three hits mm -hmm. on on three different pallets, and you're basically telling me that it's not like she was completely clueless. It's that she was absolutely overconfident, I, and she thought that every time it would I result. I assume something similar to that. In a, but in like, a stun. I think the two moments we both yeah. understand how strong the okay. three lane jungle gym is against the nurse. She goes directly to it. And another thing she's really good right. at is just make, making me lose her for like five seconds. 
Like, no idea where she is until then. And then, look, she hugs the wall, so I can't blink on the edge. And then my blink gets swallowed. As far as I'm aware, she's the only survivor that realized I had Floods of Rage. When Floods activates, even though she's lost me, so here, what she must do is walk behind the rock and then go to the edge of Shack now. Yeah. She leaves no scratches. I don't know where she is. Right. And yeah, she, there she, she is, started, she and started now she's walking. running. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I did, I, yeah. Did, I did point that out. And now she's running, yeah. And really quick, just to let you know if you want to support me and the channel, this video is sponsored by G Fuel. G Fuel is a gamer energy drink designed to help you focus so you can spin all of the killers to maximum efficiency. G Fuel recently collaborated with Dead by Daylight, making a new flavor called Liquid Lullaby. So for any of you that are down bad for Huntress, there you go. G Fuel has zero sugar, so it helps you completely avoid the crash that you may get from drinking other energy drinks. And it only costs around 90 cents a serving, so you have more money to waste, I mean spend, on that bunny fen cosmetic you've been wanting and you can use code alf for a discount at checkout as well thank you so much to you feel for sponsoring and thank you all for watching